Hey there guys, Quirty Afro here, another bus simulator on 5. I do lose count sometimes with these kind of series when like what number I'm on, but we are on number 5. Uh, back on bus simulator 16, as you remember before we got the uh, current objective done, we're now on this one which is called public transportation. Uh, this will be your biggest challenge yet, you need to establish a public transportation network between both districts and keep the passengers satisfied. Before we get into the action, the shout outs go to Jackster Vlogs and Trolleyman475. That's again Jackster, uh, Jackstar Vlogs and Trolleyman475. Their links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. Those were the shout outs. So we have, uh, we need to have at least a route uh, with at least two bus stops in each of the unlocked districts uh, and drive it at least once reach a reputation of level seven uh, which i think we're currently on in the halfway of four so we're getting up there but we, we need to get to seven for this one uh, and uh, have at least three different routes you and your drivers drove last week uh, have all the bus stops be part of your routes uh, what's that have all the bus stops be a part of your routes driven by you and your drivers last week and that will give us the reward to access the modern district. So right now we have, I do believe it is, if I can zoom in. Oh, wow. No, I can't. No, I can't zoom in on that. We have the the inner city. No, we have the residential district. And then we'll get the uh, modern district, I do believe, which is all good. I think the kind of plan of attack I want to kind of do with this is I want to build two lines. Uh, one line that starts like somewhere in the middle here, goes around and comes back down to the suburban district, and one line that starts up here and comes back down to the suburban district on this line. Um, I think that will kind of do it good. Uh, then if we have those two, even though it says have one route, I'm going to do two routes. Uh, and then that should do for the first one. Uh, the second one is just gonna, for the reaching level seven, will just have to happen naturally. Uh, have at least three different routes you and your drivers have drove last week. We'll have about four routes. So if we can at least have, um, if we can then hire one more driver even almost to like get some more income, then I can drive one route and then switch around the drivers over like out of the f uh, four available routes on three of them so we can get all the drivers at least on three done and ready and we already have two uh, that uh, we can assign drivers to essentially and then have all of the bus stops be part of your uh, have all of the bus stops be part of your oh so that would actually even probably be in a part of its own probably in another episode of video if we can try and get these two done in this video that would be good and then the third one do in, uh, do in another video because that one means have all of the um uh have all of the bus stops be part of your routes driven by you and your drivers if i have all of the bus stops part of my route that means if i have all of the bus stops in one of the routes Oh, that would actually shouldn't be too bad. I just need to use up all the bus stops, basically, that are available, essentially. That's basically what I have to do, I do believe. Yeah. One thing I want to do, we can, if we can, uh, is if we can hire another driver, because I think, why not? We have Susan Ronley, which is alright. She's uh, doing well for us. She's advancing nicely. Uh, who else do we have here? Nutflob, which I'm... Still not sure. Carlo Kennedy, skilled car mechanic, little experience as driver, lost to play simulation games. Hmm. Sounds like me, but just without the mechanic part. Uh, do, uh, Daniel Matthews, professor doctor, uh, of anthropology, former high tonnage trucker, really likes spicy chocolate. Oh, but she's 700 euros per week. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to hire because why not? Wait, what? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm going to have a, a roster of women. Women are going to be my, my whole company. <laughs> and then if I go back onto my... Oh, not that one. So I think it's line two. We have Susan. If I then put... Uh, if I put... Um, uh, Danielle... Uh, what was I say? Daniel, Danielle. Uh, on that route, that should be fine. Now I can worry about... Actually, what can I worry about? 
Uh, let me go back onto. Oh, one thing I did buy, if I can find it. I did buy the Lion City, the MAN Lion City A37, which I. F oh, there's a Bendy Bush version as well. I bought this one. Uh, that I think this is the DLC one. I do believe. I think. But you can see what other buses there are to unlock. Oh no, it's this one. It's uh, the MAN City A4. Oh my god, there's so many fucking MANs in here. There's A A37, A23. And then there's this A47M, and then there's the really old one, the NL263. But yeah, that's the one, that's the DLC one I bought, so maybe that'll be something to look into buying at some point. Uh, I've already checked up all of this. No, I don't want to make it multiplayer. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's make a route. Uh, let's do one, I'm thinking, because we have Rake Street here, down here, that isn't really being used. I'm thinking if we could, if I was to create one, create a route, do something like, hmm, hmm, if I could create, so let's create something like this, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. So that would be that route that kind of goes down here through the residential district, comes down and uh, terminates here at Rake Street East, and then we'll have another route which starts at Fisherman Street, goes there, maybe goes then to St Andrew's Church or even up to Village Street West, and then comes down this way, goes to West Hill Drive and then to Gentian Street, maybe? Something like that? To kind of cover it up like that? I think that would be alright. The route time's about 12 minutes, that's, that's alright. I don't want to make too much of a long, long, long route because, you know, I like little short routes. I think this is just as great if we have just little kind of like connecting services up and like that. Uh, so if I can save that, this route needs to be driven before any driver can drive. Do you want to drive it? No. Uh, then, um, can you name? Uh, no, you can't name them. You can only. Oh, okay. I thought you could name them. If we could name your own routes, but it doesn't matter. Right, and then let me just create this other one where it would be from Fisherman Street to there to there. I could, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Then to there and then to there. I think that's alright. Not too shabby. And that's like a really short route. I'm going to do that. So let's uh, drive this slightly longer one from Village End to uh, Rake Street East. Let's, uh, let's uh, drive it. Let's do it in the... Um, hmm, what shall we do it in? Let me just move my keyboard's actually quite far away from me. I need the keyboard in this. There's no like track or anything or mappable things. I, st I need to map some stuff to my driving wheel, but I just haven't bothered with this game yet. Uh, let's do it in. I, I want to do it in the MAN actually. Uh, and do you want. No, let's not do a reverse route. Let's uh, do it like how it is. That'll be good. Uh, do you need to change your route to avoid traffic jam? No problem. Your navigation system will automatically adjust your route. Oh! I didn't know that. So if you're having traffic or whatever, you can just divert off the route, which is kind of funny. Oh, hello. And if I just check it. Oh, yeah, we're still having the texture ads. I, I tried to verify my game files or whatever. I don't know what the hell this texture uh, glitch blip kind of thing is. I literally have no idea. Like, this game is still sort of broken in a way. Like, I don't get why there's, like, these kind of problems and stuff like that. Um, I've tried like reinstalling the game or whatever, and it just still it's still just persisting, which is annoying. Right, let's uh, get going. I'm still sad that there's uh, there's not much uh, stuff on the Steam Workshop, which is really annoying. I thought that people, oh, God, Jesus. Wow. Like. Like, what, what was that? Like, did you see how fast this guy stopped? Like, honestly, some of these AIs. 
It's it's disgusting. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, and I just remembered by pressing brake on my <laughs> by pressing brake on my steering wheel, uh, it uh, it goes into reverse. There's no like gears or anything like that, which is really annoying. Alright, first stop here. Problem regular. Uh, there you go. And my lovely Thank ticket um, ticket holder Good thing day, is sir. just going out of uh, texture and whatever. Uh, one regular. Uh, Good. I know what the things actually say. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Good day, sir. A student. No problem. Uh, you want sixty and three. There you go. Thank you, dear. No problem. Right. That's good. Uh, very nice. That was tackled well. I still haven't actually turned... I still actually haven't turned off the, uh, the ticket setting, which I know I can, but I feel... I feel like I'll have it on. It's a nice kind of thing to actually have because I think it would be kind of pointless just stopping letting passengers on. At least it's giving me something extra to do, if you know what I mean. I like this district. It's very modern, very like just full of flats and whatnot. Very nice. Village Street West. Bad stopping. What do you mean, bad stopping position? But how? Single senior trip. I like my flower thing on the bus. It's the best thing. <laughs> my little logo, even though it's, it's kind of pathetic. Anyway, back to being a bus driver. Uh, you want one senior? There you go. Thanks. No Have problem. A great day. That's it. And let us go. It seems that these gaps and stuff, uh, these gaps and stuff from uh, each station are a bit better spread, like giving me a, a good amount of time. Next stop, St. Andrew's Church. God, this is so difficult because I have to. I oh my god, I have to move the mouse with my uh, right hand, and I have to turn the wheel. And the force feedback is really strong on this game, so like turning the wheel with one hand is very hard. So I'll try my best to kind of do the turns. Probably have to do them a little bit slower. So if something like this where. Oh my god, look at this. Look at these Kim Kardashian fans. Crossing the road. There we go. Oh my god. Well, this bus is rather wide. Right. St. Andrew's Church. Everyone on their phones, as uh, usual. I'll have a student single trip ticket. Student single ticket coming right up. Even though you don't really look like a student, but I'll let you off. There you go. Thanks. No problem. Have a great day. I'll try to in this game that's just glitching out. theory you can do. I don't know what the actual problem is at all. If any of you guys have any suggestions, please Next leave them in the Village comments down below and I can see if I can try and fix it somehow. I 
Well, you see, this game could be just like a thousand times better with the right improvements. And I hope they keep just improving it. And as I said in one of the previous episodes, I hope they don't just start doing just, just DLC. I hope they update it much more before doing their kind of plans of DLC. Village Street East. I need a ticket. Regular tickets, yes. Uh tier two. Thank you very much. Single senior trip. Are uh, you sure this is the right go. boss? Thank you very much. Oh, right change. Thank you. I love it when people give me right change. Well, the door's closed. That side mirror isn't really much use to me because it's actually not giving me a lot of information except it's looking through the bus into me, which is just pretty, pretty useless. Right, parking brake on. Can have a little bit of a look at our passengers. How's everyone doing? Now, the passengers are probably the best thing about this game. Come on, like they, they talk a lot of shit <laughs> in the in the uh, in the back. You hear their life stories and whatnot, which is I think hilarious. Right. Right, this should be interesting. Well, the camera slightly does move, like really slightly, but in, yeah, the camera move, movements and stuff need to be improved in this game, definitely. Right. Awesome. I got an indicator bonus light. I need a few tickets, please. That's quite a few, mate. Three regulars. That's going to make more money for my company, so hell with it. Uh, you need one, two, three, and uh, there you go. Thank you very much. And no one, no one else needs to buy a ticket because they all have an Oyster card. Yes. And that's a green light. I like green lights a lot. I wish you could like plop down your own bus stops and stuff in this game, like make it a bit more personal, like like and also another thing again, one of the things I mentioned in previous episodes and stuff like that, and just in my Omti videos as well, like I hate that this game doesn't have other buses in it. Where is the competition? Like am I the only bus service in the whole city? Like where are my other drivers? They should be, you know, at Hello. least you yes, know yes. I already did the transaction. It should be at least Everything my other perfect. drivers on the on the map, you know. Yes. I mean. Okay, no problem. Thanks, have a nice day. Well knelt. <laughs> it's like I'm not doing that, I'm just pressing a button and doing it. The bus is doing a very good job at that. Two students. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Even though you don't sound like a student. Breaking the law. Right. Time to deal with the AI at a junction. Okay, they're gonna behave and uh, that woman, thank the law, didn't cross the street while I was turning in. Because that would have been a death there. Next stop. Rake Street East. And because this I don't have track stop. IR implemented, sure I don't know. All of your I don't know what's coming left and right. <laughs> and I've got my steering wheel back for like a few seconds and it's going to go back to white in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Coming up to our last stop anyway, which is good. Very nice. Rake Street East. Very nice. Completed and done at Rake Street. 
do the action shot. <laughs> that was a good run, I enjoyed that. Oh, slipped into the five stars, that's why I like to see. And the income is really good. That's good, that's what I like to see. Yeah, and a bit of deductibles, yeah, all that kind of schmuck. <laughs> oh, we got five star. Oh, wow. We almost went up like two levels. We've got some more colours and some more kind of bus decals. What's this? Decals. New driver? Is that a new driver slot or is that a new driver like in terms of our applicants and stuff like that? I'm guessing. Sini Brakohov. Began as an apprenticeship as a baker. Some experience as a taxi driver can't differentiate between red and green. Okay. <laughs> so she's going to crash a lot, basically, you're telling me. <laughs> so we've ticked off, have a route with at least two bus stops in each of the unlock districts and drive at, the, uh, at least once. Uh, have at least three different routes and you and your drivers drove uh, last week and then have all of the bus stops be part of your routes driven by you and all your, dri uh, all your drivers. So essentially what I need to do now is if I can if I can swap uh if I can take off Dan uh Dan no actually not Danielle. If I can take off Susan, remove her from line two and then put her onto line three that I've just driven. Uh where is she? Uh Susan, there we go. And then if I uh take if I oh actually to be honest if I take um Danielle as well because she's probably driven it this for this week on line one if I take her and put her onto line two that would be good because uh, I think Susan's already did uh, done line two so if I now put if I put Danielle on line two she can do line two uh, Susan will do line three I'll drive on line four just to get some more experience uh, and then after that, then it will essentially be, I think then it will just mean that S Danielle, uh, Danielle would need to do one more line. Because I think then Susan would have done three lines, if I'm right, and driven on every single stop, if I'm getting that objective right. Have all the bus stops be part of your routes, uh, driven by you and your drivers last week. So they have to basically drive on every single line because I've covered every, I've covered all the bus stops, I do believe. I don't think there's any bus stop I've... Yeah, I've covered all the bus stops. So they basically have to drive on all the lines, including line four now because that also has some of the routes, uh, some of the bus stops. Okay, so I just have to, I have to drive on line four, essentially. Basically what that means. Okay, let's do it. Uh, no, let's not create one. Let's uh, drive it. And let's do it in the SASB 41R. I think that'll be cool to do that and let's should we reverse it yeah let's reverse it let's do a reverse of that that'd be good oh hello and it's raining ah oh, what a mess right in the cab we go am i getting glitchy text for yes i'm gonna get the glitchy thing still pretty uh can I put on my lights? Gee. Yeah, they're already on, even though they're not really helping. Let us go. And my wipers are doing jack shit. <laughs> like, it, the rain's not even affecting the window, to be honest. But it is a glum day, I have to say. Turn into there. That's good. At least this side mirror on this bus works and actually gives me some information. <laughs> While in the old MAN from the Steam Workshop, it just exists to look at me. Guys, regular single trip, please. Just a regular, just today. Um, 
I really feel sorry if any of you guys have epilepsy or anything like that. Very sorry. Two seniors. There you go. Uh, two eighty. So that's two and twenty. Thanks. No problem. Have a great day. Thank you, you two, mate. Let us proceed on. Taking a right here. Thank you, camera, for recentering when I want you to. I like the fog though, the fog's a really nice kind of thing. Speeding complaint? I think, to be honest, how do the passengers know that I'm speeding? That's something I would love to know. How do, the, how, like, do they have like a speedometer built into like their minds? Or do they have like an app on their phone that tells them how fast they're going? Are they using Snapchat? Dirty fuckers, you know. <laughs> I guess they, they want me to go fast. Like, come on, they, they, they need to get to work. I'm, I'm, you know, I've been on some buses where like the drivers are so slow, and when they, you know, increase the speed up a bit, I'm like, yes, thank you. Come on, let's go. Even though I have been on like certain buses where I, f I felt like my life was being threatened because there was there was this one time i think i've talked about this story before in a, in, a, in a video quite some time ago but there was a bus journey where uh it was on a double decker i think it was a dennis plaxton uh, volvo truck no president volvo bus i don't know what, what bus model i'm talking about but they um this guy took a really sharp left and it almost felt like the bus was going to tip over it was it was horrifying really? You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to turn off uh, for this bus anyway because it is a bit annoying and the flickering is is, is definitely annoying. I'm just going to I'm going to turn off the uh, the ticket selling because it is annoying when I go into this mode and it just flickers like this. Well, at least on the MAN it just doesn't flicker. And now my whole dashboard's flickering because it's a troll. I'm sorry, but like a simple thing with this update, you know how they made the, the GPS auto rotate. I don't know why that wasn't already implemented into the game. Like, who was thinking when this game was being made? Like, hmm, we're gonna make, we're gonna have a GPS, but we're not gonna actually make it auto rotate like most everyday GPSs in real life. Probably no no developer that works in this game actually has a car and has ever used a GPS. <laughs> Because that's what it kind of feels like with the first kind of version of this GPS in this game before the update. And the, the, just this this rain is just stupid. Oh my god! And there's another guy walking across the street. Almost died. But yeah, the rain, the rain, there's no rain, like, there's nothing happening on, uh, there's nothing happening on, uh, on the window, on the glass. Village Street West. Man, these buses are so ugly. Let's be honest here. Terrible. I like the back window, the back window is huge. You can fit another bus through it. Cool uh, action cam view. Right. Okay, let me go. Thank you. We're back in the new district now again. Where it's just flats, nothing else. Oh my god, these gears, this automatic transmission is so bad on this bus. It just sounds 
it sounds like a whale trying to give birth in a at a concert. Okay, and I knocked down a no stopping sign. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, no stopping sign. And it didn't give me a penalty for it. Maybe it needed to be knocked down, and the council just, you know, sort of find me. They were like, oh, we don't have to pay someone else to do it. And again, there's no brake lights on the AI. How the hell do I know that they're braking? You're just gonna have to be just some, you know, godlike figure to just think like, yep, yeah, they're braking. Because I don't know when they're braking. It's rather annoying. Like, you know, at least in Opsi, AIs, you know, they actually have brake lights. While well, in this game, they only seem to have indicator lights. Which is good in itself. Imagine if they didn't have indicator lights. Oh my god. Which actually, some of them act like they don't have indicator lights. Like I think one of the, uh, I think that crash at the beginning of this episode. Up here. Just noticed that. No, 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 my wallet. Oh, great call. Lose it. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> so silly. Phew. Look at them all scurrying. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't aware. Really? Okay. okay. I can't even close the doors in this view. That's a bit annoying. You can only close it in when you're like outside, when you're zoomed out, or when you're in the driver's seat. Oh, someone laughing like a, a hag Next in the stop, back. Fisherman Street. This is the last stop. Yep. Make sure to take all of your belongings with you before stepping off the bus. That's right, people. I'm gonna steal it and uh, just take it to the local cash converters and uh, just increase my uh, company's wealth. <laughs> Park and break on. Oh crap. That was quick. And we're here at the last stop, guys. We're done. Oh, no, action view. Definitely. <laughs> Oh, the door's stuck. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've ended my shift. <laughs> oh, we didn't get as much money for that, but we got pure... Look at the performance on that. That's excellent. Driver level up. The following drivers reach promotion experience and uh, experience of an earned a promotion. Susan. Oh, well done, Susan. Scholar. Salary now is uh, 680 per month. Oh, my God. They're rinsing me. It begins... I thought I could do this as like a one-man show, but no. Oh, could oh we didn't get level seven. No, new bus colours and uh, what's this new driver? A new company garage. Oh, I don't know what that means. Like, does that mean that we can drive somewhere from like another garage or something like that? I'm not sure. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, so we have, so we've got line four done. What we essentially need to do, and I actually might do this for 
what do we actually essentially have to do have all the buses have all bus stops be part of your route driven by you and your other drivers and your drivers last week hmm well I'm doing that currently but my drivers are shuffling through essentially so maybe the next episode I don't know if the next episode will be actually even that fun because it will just be me basically driving on one of these routes again and then just switching out my drivers and then trying to just grind to level 7 essentially because there's nothing really else to do um, I've built up all my I've built up basically all my bus lines and they cover every single stop in both of these districts so I've done everything that the objective wants me to do now essentially I just have to sit and wait till my drivers do it and I think I've done everything well, I don't know if I have to do it's I don't get this kind of whole thing with and your drivers last week what's with the last week because it's technically impossible to have your drivers and you do everything in that one week because apparently this game goes week by week every time you do a, a driving mission like when you do a drive when you finish a route and then you know come back to this page you've done a week so you technically can't do everything in a week you have to do it over a few weeks so I don't get why it says in the last week it should just say just have it done <laughs> if you know what I mean but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I don't know if I'll do the next episode of this it might be a shorter kind of a bit of a you know just a filler episode but we'll see how we get on in that episode and if we're still on that kind of thing where we have to do all of it then I might just do it off camera and then um, bring the next episode where we'll probably hopefully be on the next objective which would be really cool Anyway, uh, the shouts for this video go to Jack Star Vlogs and Trolleyman475. That's again Jack Star Vlogs and Trolleyman475. Their links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. This was episode part uh, five of uh, Bus Simulator 16. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you guys in another one. Take care and have a nice day.